In this guide, I'll show you how to kill Kriara with Chinchompas. It might be a little bit tricky to learn at first, but it can easily triple your kills per trip when you get this down. To start chinning Kree, I'd recommend having 90 plus ranged and 74 prayer with rigor unlocked to get the most out of your Chinchampa investment. Since we are gonna get sweaty to maximize our kills per trip, make sure to bring blood barrages which will require 92 magic and desert treasure completed to cost. Kree mainly hits with her ranged attack, which can deal up to 69 damage. These are the great tornadoes. Occasionally she will hit with a magic attack with a max hit of 21, these are the blue tornadoes. Both of these tornado attacks will hit every player in the room. She can also fly towards you and hit you with a melee attack which can deal up to 26 damage. For this method it's really important to understand how her melee attack works. Whenever you are targeting her, by clicking attack on her, she won't fly towards you and won't try to melee you. But when you stop targeting her, for example when you eat a food, click on the ground or attack any other minion, she will come after you to try scratch you up. Now that we know her attacks, let's have a look at the gear. If you're gonna kill Kriara, it's highly recommended to be on an Aviancy's task so you can use the Slayer Helm. You can unlock the ability to be assigned Aviancy's by unlocking Watch the Birdie for 80 Slayer points. Getting your tasks from Duradel will give you the best chance at getting an Aviancy's task. If you are on task, you can expect over 25% extra kills per trip. If you aren't on task, you can use the Justiciar Face Guard or a Varrox Helm instead. For the rest of your gear, you want to focus on ranged offense and get good defense bonuses against all three combat styles. This is the gear I use. If you're on a tighter budget, swap out the Armadil for Carols, the Anguish for a Fury, the DFS for a Crystal Shield and the Suffering for an Archer's Ring. If you have some more cash to spend, upgrade to Zarite Vambraces, Big Asians and an Ellie or a Dragonfire Ward. I also bring an Armadil Crossbow with Diamond Dragon Bolts E to finish off the boss. You can replace this with a Zarite or a Dragon Crossbow. Now let's talk about the Chinchampas. Currently the red chins are going for 1.3k each, while the black chins are nearly 3 times as expensive at 3.6k. So you might think of cheaping out and sticking with the red chins, but I'd highly recommend against this. A lot of your time is already wasted by getting there and collecting ecumenical keys, so you really want to get the most out of your time actually fighting the boss. Black chins have double the range strength bonus and an extra plus 10 ranged accuracy bonus, so the kills will be substantially faster and you'll get more in a trip. You use around 25 chins per kill, which comes out to around 90k, and the average loot from Kree is around 270k per kill, so you'll still be making a ton of money. A little warning message here, if you die, you will lose all of your chins on death. So if you know that you're one of those guys that face plants when learning new stuff, limit the amount you're bringing. For the first time learning, I'd suggest bringing 300. When you get the hang of it, bring around 600. And if you get really good at it, bring 1500 black chins so you can do your entire Aviancy's task in one trip. For the rest of the inventory, bring your blowpipe to take down a major, a three-way mage switch to get extra damage when barraging, 3 Bastion Potions, 4 Anglerfish, 3 Brews and 8 Super Restores. An Ecumenical Key is really important so you don't have to get kill count and waste your Slayer task on killing normal Aviancies. Bring Bones to Peaches tablets to heal even more of the minions, a Myth Grapple to enter Armadil's Eerie, a Rune Pouch with Blood, Soul and Death Runes and a Teleport Out. If you get better at this, you can slowly start to replace all the Anglerfish for extra Super Restores. The basic idea behind this method is that your chin's damage will be calculated versus the monster you're throwing it at. And all surrounding monsters will take damage based on that calculation. If you throw your chin at Kree, you'll likely not deal a lot of damage because of her high defensive stats. If you however bring her next to one of the minions and throw your chin at the minion, it'll do great DPS. Before you get started, mark Kree Ara and the mage minion, Wingman Scree, with the NPC indicators plugin and check the highlight tile box. You want to stand in the southwestern corner when she spawns. I like to have my crossbow equipped for the first hit. Don't attack her so she flies up to you, and as soon as she's one tile away from melee range, hit her with your crossbow. Then equip your chins and throw a chin at the melee minion right next to you. After you throw your chin, you have to immediately click back on Kree so she doesn't start meleeing you. Throw a chin at the meleeer, hit Kree. Throw a chin at the meleeer, hit Kree. If you get Kree in this exact position, it's really simple to click on the meleeer. 
But if you mess up and she gets right next to you, it can be a bit harder to click attack the melee minion. In that case, I like to right click the melee minion every time I want to throw a chin. After you finish off the melee minion, you have two options. Either you swap back to your crossbow and finish her off like that, and get back to chinning with the melee minion if he were to respawn. Or alternatively, run to the southeast of the room and start chinning with the mage minion. If you want to do this, try to get the mage minion in the bottom left corner of Kree and you definitely want to right click to chin here. After you've killed Kree, finish off the mage minion with your blowpipe, use your special attacks to heal up. Then bring the melee close to the range minion and blood barrage them to get back to full health. Pick up the bones, pray at the altar and get back in the corner to start the next kill. As I said before, you can get over 50 kills per trip here if you get good at it. If you take out the cost of supplies, you'll profit an average of 170k per kill. Main drops you're looking for are the armor pieces, all of which drop at the rate of 1 in 381, and the hilt which drops at the rate of 1 in 508. Combine these drop rates and you can expect to drop worth over 10 mil every 102 kills, which comes down to a drop every 2 trips. If you want to try out the crossbow method or any of the other God Wars bosses, check out my God Wars dungeon playlist on screen now. Join the Discord and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future guides. It really would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. See ya!